We begin with breaking news in the case of the Monterey Park teenager who was reported missing and turned up at her station's front gate. Her father now officially facing some serious criminal charges. And now it is newsworthy Leanne Suter is live in our newsroom with the details from his first appearance in court. Leanne. David Jeffrey Chow now facing a felony charge in connection with the reported disappearance of his 15 year old daughter. He's accused of hiding the teen and telling police she was missing. We do have a right to a speedy preliminary hearing and 10 court days. Jeffrey Chow making his first appearance in court after reporting his daughter missing. Chow pleading not guilty to charges of stealing and concealing his daughter, as well as filing a false emergency report. What the essence of it is that somebody who doesn't have legal custody over their child exercises control over them without the consent of the parent that does, then you have that charge. Prosecutors say Chow reported his 15 year old daughter missing to police when in actuality he had taken her to a secret location. A location that was found by her father and a family friend indicating that this is somewhere where she could hide out until things got better or lay low until things got better. A week later after an all out search by authorities and family and friends, the teen turned up outside of our ABC 7 studios. Her parents are in the middle of a contentious divorce and custody battle. Her mother Annie was recently awarded full custody. Prosecutors say the teen had been ordered by family court to check into a mental health facility, but she did not want to go and neither did her father. The court issuing a restraining order today on behalf of Chow's estranged wife and the teen. Chow was being held on no bail, the judge changing it to $500,000 bail. First battle was won by the defense in that we got the judge to grant bail. Maybe high, but we got bail. Chow's attorney says he is now in the process of posting bail. If convicted of all the charges, he could face up to five years in jail. Prosecutors say the 15 year old is now in the custody of DCFS and has been placed with a family friend. Live in the newsroom, Lee Hyun Suter, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC 7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC 7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.